Hey, hi, what's up? We're uh, trying something that, uh, yet again, we've never tried. I'm not really sure how any of this is going to go. I just downloaded the MTGO client a bit ago, but yeah, we're playing Magic the Gathering online. And I thought a good place to start, because I've literally never used this application before, and I've heard it's a little user unfriendly, is the new to MTGO Modern Gauntlet League. And I can sign up for this with my new player points. So I'm just going to jump in. And uh, we got a deck. Okay, so this is our sideboard. Uh huh. Uh, our main deck. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, so the way this league works, I was looking it up. Uh, you get one of six possible decks randomly. You play up to three matches, the first person to win twice. Uh, this is the normal best of three. Or not best of three, but first of two. Um, and yeah, hope my goal here is just to kind of learn how the client works. So we got the, the red-blue one. Is it Storm? So this is actually kind of funny, because I don't think this deck really exists in Modern right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to storm out, which is good, because my goal overall is to play Vintage Cube. I'm a huge, huge fan of Vintage Cube. As you can see, I'm currently watching some Vintage Cube videos, and I was like, you know what, screw it. I want to just play this myself. Like, it's up right now. It's not going to be up for much longer. I, I want to get into it, but I want to familiarize myself with the client a little more. Uh, like, already, I, I've seen people in videos like, move these around more. Uh, uh. Anyways, I don't really know what's going to happen, but we're just going to plunge in and see if we can find a game. Um, I don't know how many people are playing in this league right now. Maybe I shouldn't have started recording the video until we actually found somebody. Um, can I look at my cards in the meantime? I think I know what pretty much all of these do. Well, we can look at the the deck. I have too many tabs open. Uh, okay, this works. Um, I have my locating thing up at the same time. So, the way our deck works is we want to get one of these two guys out. Hey, we got paired! We got paired! Okay, alright, back into it. Uh, okay, they're choosing to play first. We have no Lance, so this is definitely a mulligan. I'm assuming you know how to play Magic Gathering. I'm not going to try to explain MTGO to people right now, because I'm currently playing. This is also a terrible hand, Mull. Oh my god, I guess we have to keep this, because we have... Electroman, we have Sleight of Hand, turn one. I'm going to go put back Gifts. Oh, wait, Keep. We're going to put back Gifts. And I don't really feel like we need Shiv and Reef right now. We're done. Okay. I'm going to say GLHF. Muted. Okay. <laughs> this is an unfriendly game so far. Uh, okay. I gotta, I gotta get used to like responding to things because I watch a lot of footage of MTGO, so it's not like there's anything surprising about what's happening. I just have to actually get used to having to play the game myself. Okay, Metamorphosis is all right. So we're gonna slide a hand right now. This isn't so bad. I should learn the shortcuts and stuff. Um, we'll take Grape Shot, because we need that eventually. And uh, how do I pass turn? Uh, yield until end step. OK. I guess I can always just keep clicking over here. Things will always happen over there. So this is like some sort of mill deck, it looks like. 
So I'm not really too scared of anything happening over there yet. Um, okay. So it triggers, and then it goes on the stack, is what's going on there. And of course, they're targeting me, milling three, three cards from my library, go into my graveyard. Do, 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 do. Double Electroman and Baral. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. But uh, hopefully, Visions of the Beyond. Okay, burning that when you don't get to draw three for it is kind of awkward. How do I make it like pop up? There's like a way that when you hover over a card, there's like a window that shows. Uh, so what is it? F6? How do I say no response? I guess just one. Yeah. One. Okay. We're, we're learning. Uh, Steam vents. Untapped. And then we'll run out Electro Man. And I tapped wrong. Wait, I think I can undo. Yeah. Okay. That was great. <laughs> uh, and then just press one a few times. Okay, I feel like I'm kind of getting the hand of this. Now, in terms of the actual match, how are we doing? We have our Electro Man down. That's good. So this makes all of our, our instants and sorceries cheaper. At some point, we're going to want to figure out what we want to gifts for. I think the route is, like, we get past in flames, some rituals. I don't know. Um, sure. Uh, I can see why everyone hates this. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think it's fine. Like, in terms of watching Magic the Gathering, this is exactly what I want it to be. In terms of, like, playing it, uh, I can see why maybe people prefer Arena. But I think once I get used to this, this is, I'm going to be, like, happier with this. Okay, so they hit Past and Flames, which is kind of nice because it has flashback. Like, it's not good. Like, I'd rather have it in hand because it's cheaper. No problem. Okay. So they're milling us decently fast, but I'm not scared yet. We're still two-thirds through our library, and uh, I gotta... Whenever nothing's happening, I should just press 1 and see if that does something. Okay, so we mill two cards. We have to put these on the stack. We can reorder them if it makes a difference. Um... Jeez, I guess we'll opt. Doesn't feel all that great, but whatever. Spire buff canal, I guess we want more lands. So top that. Play that. We could mana morphos and try to like keep going a little bit. Um, there should be four grape shots in the deck, so I, I don't even feel bad about like firing a baby grape shot. Yada yada yada. Because this is is this good? So this only costs three, meaning if we Manamorphose, we can Manamorphose into Gifts. I guess I'm going to do that. I don't know. I, I might as well. I'm getting... Uh, I feel like... So we'll add blue, red. Desperate Ritual, that's good. Might as well cast that. Uh, then we'll Gifts. Target... Opponent, okay. Alright, so, this is the big turn. We already have Past in Flames. So, what if we just get Ritual, Ritual, um, Red Storm Count 4. Oh, there's only two Grape Shots. And they could get milled. So I don't want to take Graveshot because they'll just put it in the, the graveyard and then we're kaput. I think I went too quick. I think I'm not supposed to have started this yet. But we could get Baral. Um, 
So we're getting Ritual, Ritual, Brawl, and... Oof. Man, I don't know. <laughs> Playing Magic is so hard. Uh... Metamorphose? Something that's just like mana positive. So no matter what, we're we're getting mana positive and we're getting the ability to cast more spells. If we can get up to past in flames and then recast our rituals, I think we can actually maybe just pop off really hard this turn. Oops. Uh done. So they have to choose two that we get, and then the other two go in the graveyard. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'll, I'll just, I'll admit it, I'll, uh, I'm straight up with it. Uh, okay, they gave us Brawl and Manamorphose. I guess that makes sense. So let's Manamorphose, red, blue. See what we draw. Spire Buff Canal. We already played something. Uh, yeah, their picks make sense. Um, <laughs> so we could either, uh, we can run out Brawl and then Grape Shot for six to the face. And then we just have to do another turn of this later. And Grape Shot we can cast again with Past and Flames. So I think I'm going to do that. Because then we can Gifts for two next turn. We still have two up. Uh, we can Past and Flames. Does this reduce uh, the cost of... Cost five with Flashback now. So... If we play Baral, then next turn we can... Fa okay, okay, I think this is going to work. So we play Baral. We play Grape Shot, targeting you. Uh, same targets, same targets, same targets, same targets, same targets, same targets. So that hits them for... Like six or something, seven. Not bad. And then uh, one turn. That was our first time trying to storm off. <laughs> it went okay. Um, probably played it wrong. As soon as I started gifts, I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> um, maybe I should have gotten another Electroman too or something. Oops. Um, but it went okay. Because I think we can get up to 12 next turn. Because we can go like Past in Flames, 1, and then Ritual, 2, Ritual, 3, Ritual, 4, Ritual, 5. Uh, then we'll have a ton of mana. We can Mana Morphos, Mana Morphos, Mana Morphos, 6, 7, 8. Uh, we can. Play a couple cantrips, maybe into more rituals. I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there. We just gotta be smart. And they don't really have a way to interact with our cost reducers, as far as I know. So that's pretty sweet. It means we're likely gonna be able to have the two reduction going into uh, our turn. And there's no way they can mill us out of 30 cards in this turn. In fact, the more they mill us... Like, look, we just got another Ritual. So that's more fuel for Past and Flames. Mission Briefing. Okay. What are they... They Mission Briefing for Visions of Beyond Draw 3? That's okay. That's okay, because I don't I don't know what they're gonna do to stop this, and I'm almost certain I think this is a really bad matchup for them, because all of their milling just fuels past in flames. Like we didn't have to cast these cards, they just ended up there for us, and then we can pass in flames. We're a little behind on time, but I, it's not as much as I expected to be behind on time, given that I have basically no idea what I'm doing. And uh I'm just mashing three. So they mission briefing to get visions of beyond. They drew three. They have a full grip. But we we basically have a full grip. Like the, the graveyard is what matters now. They visions again, drawing up to eight, but they're tapped out. They're gonna have to discard the turn. They have no mana. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. I think we're okay. I think we're gonna win. No attackers. They only got the little baby crab. 
I suppose we could have swung with Electro Man last turn, but I don't really care. I, I want to win through proper storm. Yep. Yeah. So we mill three more. Okay, so. Oh! <gasps> the center's tapped! Oh, the center's tapped! Oh, I'm big, big dummy! Oh, wait, no, it just costs three. Ha ha ha. Okay, so we play, we pay this. But we have no... Wait, wait, no, I'm still dummy! I'm, like, even more dummy because we don't have any mana and we already just passed, we just got rid of Past and Flames. There's another Past of Flames. So I just, I did things one turn too soon. Uh, it, it, yeah, this is terrible. I'm, I'm like a huge fool. Yeah, I should have just gifts on given and and loaded up stuff with more. Okay, can they mill us twenty three next turn? I guess we'll swing with both. Might as well get in a bit more damage, reduce the amount we have to storm by. I know I said, oh, I want to win by storm, but that was when I thought I was about to win. Now I just found out I'm a big dummy that didn't realize. <laughs> But you still actually have to pass, cast the cards. You just pass the flames into nothing. But they must see what's coming. Like, I just showed them the win. So let's see what they can do. If they can mill me out 23, then kudos. Could I have done something different? Yeah, I should have just gifts. Because gifts only costs two. And then I would have still had one mana up. Such that if they let me have... Uh, I don't know, uh, ritual into ritual. I don't know why they would give me two rituals, because, yeah. I, I could have at least given them the opportunity to make a mistake, though. Instead, I did nothing. <laughs> I Oh, snap, murderous cut! Okay, all right. I guess I should have checked their, their deck list. Well, that's a little awkward, because now we're in the same situation. We have to draw a land. We have to draw a land or a ritual, I guess. But the fact that we don't have Electro Man online is like really gross. But if we draw a land, we're, we're a okay. Because the ritual is only cost two, so we can start. It doesn't really matter if we have Electro Man for that. I guess that's the one downside of attacking is that then they untap. And we have to mill for Mesmeric Orb. But, like, I don't think that's going to make the difference. Serum Visions. Jeez. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? We can Gifts, which costs three. Pass and Flames Flashback costs five. What? Shouldn't it cost four with Brawl? Eh, whatever. Um, we can... Yeah, we can Gifts for three. What do we try to get? Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphos... Something? What's even left in the deck? Man, I don't know. We have nothing else to do, though. Because uh, Remand, we can hold up after casting Gifts, so that's okay. Targeting you... Holding up red. We don't have much left in the old library. Um, geez, no more rituals. Okay, that's really bad. <laughs> no more rituals and no more metamorphos. I think we're going to lose now. I, I should have, on the storm turn, probably played a little smarter. Mm, it's not really much to get. Like, getting Baral is sort of pointless, and then we'll try to get two lands. But they probably realize that we're hurting on lands. I don't know what they'll give us from this. It's all just crap. <laughs> it's all just such <laughs> silliness. <laughs> uh, what, we, what can we do? We can play Electro Man. All right. We don't, we don't have Electro Man. We can Serum Visions. It doesn't really matter. We'll Serum Visions with this. Opt, opt. We drew an island, though. That's pretty good. 
So um, let's just get a one opt island. Did we already play a land? Yeah, I guess we played. Yeah, we played the Shivan Reef. Okay, this is so silly. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we'll just remand if anything scary happens. Like if they try to kill Brawl. Oh, I thought it was F6. It's just six, but we don't actually want that. Yeah, because we want to be able to remand something. <laughs> it's the whole point. We're down to nine cards. We're going to mill four next turn, but we do have enough now. Oh, this is an interesting card. I think this card is like so friggin' cool. So are they doing this? They're doing this main phase, so they have to be able to draw a card for them to actually get it. I will take <sighs> Remand, I guess. It shouldn't matter. Like, we should just be able to storm out next turn until, unless they do something spooky. Archive trapped. Oh, that's so smart. DWP. Well, why am I muted? Why have they muted me? I was trying to compliment them. Yeah, so we're dead. There's no way out. All right. Played that poorly, I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh... We definitely made several mistakes. Yeah, let's let's remand that and then kill ourselves on our own terms. Yeah. That was the cool spell effect. Like in uh, in Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay, so what do we want to do for sideboarding? I I like having in Empty, because I think we want more win cons, just because Past in Flames or, or Grape Shock could get milled. Um, unsubstantiate, bounce something, counter non-creature spell. I don't really care about those. Uh, what can we cut? Remand doesn't actually feel that important. It's not like any individual spell is what's getting us. Like, maybe to remand Murderous Cut would be good. Yeah, okay, let's keep in remand. Um, I don't know. We could just run 62 cards because they're trying to mill us, right? So that's effectively giving us more HP. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> uh, good, good. It's the Beginner's League. If we're not allowed to do crap like this in the Beginner's League, when are we? When are we able to? We were we were multiple times just like one turn away from winning. So I don't feel too freaked out. I don't know what they're gonna be able to bring out on the sideboard. Maybe more counterspell stuff should be bad. Which is more um, yet another reason to have remand. And maybe even think about negate just for the counter war. Nah. I mean it's too late anyways. League details. I want one of these undefeated trophies. How do you get multiple undefeated trophies if it's just the new to MTGO league? I don't know what's going on, but whatever. Turn to game. All right, I would like to play first. Oh, God. oh yeah, we mulliganed to five last time too, so this could be better than that. This we have brawl. We have some rituals. We have something to look for a grape shot or a payoff or something. So this is definitely a keep. I guess we don't need this many rituals. I'll put back one of the pyretic rituals. Done. We'll play canal and go. And I guess we can yield through their turn. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm not really sure how the yielding and stuff works yet. I'm a little confused, um, but I'm just pressing one when it feels like nothing's happening and it seems to be how it works. Uh, we'll play Island, run out Brawl, and they're so far away from Murderous Cut or whatever. They don't have any of the mill pieces online, 
So I feel pretty good that next turn we can peer through depths, I guess. Oh, cool. I didn't realize, but peer through depths has arcane. So if we have uh, arcane ritual or whatever it's called, desperate ritual, we can actually... the Oh, they have fatal push! I guess they brought in fatal push. That makes sense. I didn't see any fatal push last time, but that's a very good sideboard card for sure. So Brawl is down. That's actually so bad. And Peer Through Depths can only find instants or sorceries. But Peer Through Depths finding Opt or something isn't too bad. Each opponent puts the top three cards into their graveyard. Okay. Fine. What is the Delirium? So if it's if we have if they have four or more card types. Pass and Flames is in the graveyard. That's okay. Ooh, good draw. Good draw. So we'll run this out first. Then we'll Steam Vents, Pay to Life, Cure Through Depths. Oh wait, no, this is instant. What am I doing? We can do that. We can hold this up <clears throat> so it looks like we have remand. And then uh, on there end step. Will appear through depths. So do I have a stop on their end step? Like, what is, what does this mean? Visions for one, not that scary. That means they're a little desperate. I mean, it, I guess we are too. Um, okay. No attacks, of course. And then we'll cast this. And we're just looking for... Like, I don't know. We just need more gas. So we can take a ritual. That's fine. We don't get to do splice onto arcane. Put these back. Doesn't matter. Actually, maybe it does matter a bit, because we might go through that much of our graveyard. My turn. They have Fatal Push, of course. It's fine. We can Steam Vents. Shouldn't have done that, but sure. We can. We're going to Steam Vents untapped. And then there's no real point. Like, we could Ritual up and Past in Flames. Yeah, we're just going to pass through our turn. And then I could Metamorphose at the end of their turn. Get two draw steps. But like, what am I trying to hit? Like, what am I desperately needing right now? Not that much. Honestly, what I want them to do is just mill. Mill, mill, mill. Ooh, Shellback Isle. That card is cool. But like, what is the big mana payoff that they have? I don't know, I'm a little confused that this is in the deck. Like, I don't know what they're going to cheat out with it. If it's like Emrakul or something, then, you know, well played. <laughs> but uh, I, I'd be kind of surprised. I guess we'll see soon enough. But yeah, I'd kind of like them to mill me some more. Because it would be cool if I could just storm off from my graveyard. Glimpse the unthinkable. There we go. Thank you. We'll pull this out. So what I want to draw is like Brawl, I guess. Brawl or Electro Man would be the best, for sure. If we draw Brawl, we have Grape Shot in Graveyard. Yeah, okay, okay. So we can Brawl. Desperate Ritual adds to 3, Pyretic Ritual minus 1 to 4, 7, Past in Flames Flashback, we're down to 3, Mana Morphos down to, we're, we're at 4, I can't keep track of this, the, but then we can like peer through depths, we can do a lot of stuff, uh, I'm gonna go for it, because... 
I don't know. Like, what I'm going to aim for is empty, and then we'll just try to attack them down over multiple turns if needed. So Brawl, Pyretic Ritual, do they have something? Okay, Desperate Ritual. Anamorphos, we'll add blue, blue, island, that's good. Then uh, past and flames, flashback, oh, no, this is okay. Then we can desperate ritual again, pyretic ritual again. Manamorphos, add blue, blue. All right, that's good. Uh, we can, we have two more blue mana, but we can Manamorphos again, blue, blue. Manamorphos, sure, I'll add red, blue. Pot, pyritic ritual, sure, on top. Um, we're getting close to just being able to kill them with grape shot, actually. This is so fun, this is so exciting. Let's, uh, I don't know, opt, gifts, bottom, serum visions, um, put on top, put on bottom. Um, oops, that's not what I thought that did, but oh well. Uh, we can sleight of hand, I guess. Doesn't really matter. What? No. What? Why can't I cast stuff? Oh, man, that was weird. Uh... Top, bottom, desperate ritual, and then grave shot. You. That's how you do it. Yay! Cool. All right. I'm just gonna run it back. I think bringing in the empty the warrens made me feel more comfortable. I still think the matchup is terrible for them. Like very easily, that could have happened game one as well. But uh, it just didn't, because I made a few mistakes. <laughs> but that went pretty good. And they killed one Electroman and one Baral. This this looks fantastic. This is, like, all we could ask for. Keep. They're probably going to play first. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, they killed the Electroman. They killed the Baral. Um, so that's... Like, that's good. That's, like, proving that we can fight through all of that. Let's start with just basic island. Don't want to take any more damage than we have to. Not that it really matters, but, you know, it can't hurt. Do -do -do. Okay, island... Oh, they're stopping on my upkeep. Should I sort my cards? Can people do that? I don't really see people doing that. It seems kind of nice. Sort your cards. Pure through depths, that's nice. So, uh, we'll opt at the end of their turn. Not that I really could be bluffing anything, but um, yeah, if I opted now, I would have to discard the hand size, so that's definitely not what we want. Visions of the Beyond, sure. So they mulligan to six, I didn't notice that. Field of Ruin, haha! It's good we ran out of the island. No, they can't afford to do that yet. I don't really care if they feel to ruin us. We can just get a mountain. 
Oh, we want to opt. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Okay. My turn. Ooh, another brawl. That's good. So I'm going to run out brawl because I'd rather this get killed because we have another one, but we can't play both, whereas multiple Electromancers we can play. So the best case scenario is I'm wasting a fatal push on this. That would make me very, very happy. I wish this was the other ritual. Then we could start doing crazy arcane stuff. That'd be pretty cool. So, we want to play Electromancer and then probably peer through depths. I think is. Yeah! Alright, we'll, we'll just play another Brawl and, and shove it in their face. <laughs> it will feel so good. Do they have more? Okay. So I still don't have any of their mill stuff online, which really isn't... Uh, oh, I should have played this tapped. What am I doing? Whatever. Because I don't really care if I peer through depths this turn. It's like it. we're getting there eventually. They're not putting any pressure on us. If they're just killing our creatures, we'll just eventually replace them. And we're building up more mana, we're building up more resources. I'd like to make one more land drop um, before we try to go for anything. So, yeah, I don't really care to peer through depths right now. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, that's more mana efficient, but you're kind of just spending all of your mana every turn. It's kind of like one mentality. But on the other hand, you know, on the turn we go for it, peer through depths can be really helpful. Murder is cut, sure. So they had to burn three cards to do that. They won't be able to do that again for, I guess, like one turn, actually, because murder is going to only cost five. But uh, that's fine. As the, the more that they burn, OK, that's fine. Did we hit Fast and Flames? No. Another Electroman. Let's just run out double Electroman and be like, haha, F you. Why am I at combat step already? Well, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I guess I was just mashing one. Uh, yes, I would. That was really stupid tapping. Actually, it doesn't really matter. And, and another one. So now empty only costs two. That's pretty nice. We just want to hit past in flames. Once we hit past in flames, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, whether they they can mill us into it, because it should only cost three for flashback. And then we can go like ritual, ritual, manamorphose, manamorphose. Should get us there. Oh, they're going to archive trap us again, aren't they? But. This means we can get past in flames, so I don't care. Because, like, what could they be searching for that's so scary? The scariest card in their deck is probably Archive Trap. Uh, given the situation, where is past in flames? No, oh, no I'm an idiot! That oh, wait, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because past in flames is just in the graveyard now. Yeah, so I think we can do it. As long as they leave us with double Electroman. They only have one card in hand. I think they sim Scheming Scrimmetry for Archive Trap. Because they would have had to just naturally have both of those. So I don't know. They only have one card. Doesn't look like anything's going to die. We have Remand up for one mana. So Past in Flames flashback costs three. So yeah, we can just go for it. Yeah, let's try it. I didn't tap right, but whatever. Do they have... We, we, we can protect it with Remand, but then 
We don't have any mana to actually do anything. But we do draw a card, so we could draw a land. Yeah, this is what we have to do, I think. It's really stupid, but there is another uh, Past in Flames in our deck. So we just gotta draw a land. This is so stupid. We, we either draw a land or we can't win this turn. Oh, yes! Oh, but it's blue! Oh, we needed a red land to start ritualing. God, so stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> what can we do? What can we do? We can't really do anything. We can just, like, opt. I guess Serum Visions is best. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Uh, we were so greedy. There's no reason I couldn't have just waited another turn. Like, even if they take down my Electroman, if I have another land, that's, like, equivalent. Uh, alright, so we're gonna... I guess we should peer through the depths? Did we play one of those yet? No, I guess there's none in here. So we'll just play Serum Visions. So stupid. Oh, we have peer through depths in hand. Alright, whatever. Uh... I think we want um, this on top and then this on top. Okay. So we just, we gotta find Past and Flames again. But it's not super unlikely that they mill us into our other copy of Past and Flames. <sighs> I should have just waited a turn. So silly, so silly. Oh, uh, yeah, let's, let's swing. Might as well. Now we need, only need to go for 16. They're not milling us out like extremely quickly. And if they do the Scheming Symmetry Archive Trap trick again, then we'll just grab Past and Flames again. They'd have to do that plus Glimpse the Unthinkable, and then we're screwed. Uh, but even then, we might just have like one, we, we might have one shot if they do that. And they only have two cards in hand. So the odds of them having that combo even aren't that good. They don't have Hedron Cobb a lot online. They don't have uh, the other thing. It'd be kind of spooky if they drew Murderous Cut or uh, a Fatal Push. Fatal Push. That would be annoying, but I th think we'd still maybe be okay. Vantress Garkyle can't attack unless defending player has seven more cards in the graveyard. Can't block unless you have four more cards in hand. Tap to each player mills. Okay, that's totally fine. That should not matter at all. And it can't even block, so... If they're doing this as a defensive play against my uh, Electromancer pressure. Okay. What have we got? I want to see... I don't know. Pass in Flames, I guess. Because it costs four. <sighs> and they'd have to have Counterspell as their final card. Grape Shot, not good. So... Hmm. What we'll have to do, I guess, is... <sighs> so awkward. Well, Ritual first. Oops, no, 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 no. And then peer through depths. Actually, I should have seen Serum Visions first. Pyretic Ritual, Remand. Um, I'm gonna take Opt, I guess. Because once we get um, Past in Flames, assuming we do get Past in Flames, then it shouldn't really matter too much. And I think what I'll do is, if this is a total whiff, we'll just go until we hit... Um, until we have only enough mana to cast Empty the Worms, just two mana. And then we'll just empty for whatever we have and try to just kill them. Gifts. Oh, that's good. Okay, so gifts cost two. 
Past and Flames flashback costs three. So we'll have, uh, I think this is okay. Oh yeah, choose opponent. This is so scary. I think this works. We'll lose the counterspell again, but like, what can you do? Oh, come on, no! Okay. Uh, all right, so we can Serum Visions. Still just trying to hit Pass and Flames. But all these cards will be fuel for Pass and Flames once it actually gets going, assuming we don't just like suddenly die. Opt and Sleight of Hand. We don't have, uh, we, we have one more cantrip we can play. So let's, actually, let's just bottom both, yeah. Fire Bluff Canal, I see. So let's play. Um, we can. Can we do both? We have. This costs two. And Grape Shot costs one. So play Grape Shot targeting you. For eight. This might work out. We'll just put a ton of crap on the board. Same target, same target, same target, same target, same target, same target, same targets. So we'll just hit them really hard. And then we will empty the warrants. So this gives us 18 goblins. And then we'll just turn them all sideways next turn. And they, they have a lot to deal with. A lot to deal with. So this all turned out fine. Like we didn't just kill them, but uh, this is fine. This can't block. Even if it did, I would still swing out. They're down to four. Yeah, let's see it. If you can mill us out 19 with one card in your hand, then sure, take the win. Then you can take the win. Otherwise, I think we got it. Yeah! All right, our first ever game of MTGO, we won. Game one was a little sketchy, but game two and three, we came through. So this is already a really long video. I'm going to cut it here and upload my next match has a separate one. Uh, I'm not really sure who these videos might appeal to. I feel like if you know about Magic the Gathering, they might just be like frustrating. And if you don't know about Magic the Gathering, they might just be very confusing and nonsensical. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that's this channel in a nutshell. <laughs> frustrating or confusing. Bye-bye.